Come on in. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Facebook Live. This is Katie O'Neill tuning in from TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. It is a beautiful and sunny day, and man, oh man, am I excited. I was trying to show somebody the interior of a 4061 Superstar, and there are no videos. Now, this is a special order. Uh, it was pre-sold, but it's an awesome opportunity to show you through an amazing RV by Newmar today. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And I'm always reachable by email, text, or you can just give me a call. I answer the phone. I love to help. Uh, so today we're starting off in a 2021 Newmar Superstar. Now, a lot of you might think, well, shoot, aren't they changing all of the models for 2022? They are. All of the models except for this model. So let's go ahead and start off in the bedroom like we always do. Uh, so Jody, flip her around and I'll meet you out back. Okay, so today's model is 5N201401. So if you want to look it up on uh, our website, that's where you'll find it, or you can use it as a reference number. You can always look it up on YouTube later. Uh, but this is a mid-bath model, and the 4061 is the only superstar that was out last year that actually had a full wall slide as well as two uh, passenger side slides. And that's what gives you this amazing amount of storage in this bedroom. So I wanted to start off by showing you, first of all, the closet space. Uh, which is pretty impressive. So you'll notice here that we have a safe. We also have a lit hanging space here with a lot of wardrobe room. And then this is the cushion that you would put down if you were going to make the bed. I also love above this closet space, we have a ton of storage room up here. Really nice to keep pillows and blankets, all that stuff uh, while you're traveling. Maybe some uh, boxes that have like, all of your hiking shoes or things like that. Um, and then right here we have access to wait for it what is it for it's for your splendid washer and dryer stack so let me show you that as well uh, so this 4061 is a 40 foot Numar superstar it has a washer and dryer combo which is optional um, it's really nice it's a little splendid system you can use this while you're traveling down the road just run your generator um, and then great little place here to keep all of your dryer sheets any like laundry soap that you might want things along those lines and then right here I've already got these drawers open but I love this storage it's so nice to have individualized small drawers that you can keep things like your uh, underwear your socks bathing suits things along those lines and then all of these are really nice dovetail construction soft closed doors so Numar does um, an amazing job in the construction of their vehicles and I'm going to go ahead and just lock this right here. So you'll see that that would stay closed while you're in motion. And I want to just open this door so you'll find that below each nightstand you have uh, a little cubby where you can keep some books, maybe your water bottles. And then there's a, a 110 outlet as well as two USBs for charging things. And you're also going to have electric up here as well as these little ports that come through. And then you've got night lights, which are controlled right here. So that's kind of nice. And here's that 110 outlet, along with a ton of storage. Now today we're looking at the Largo interior, and I really love the mirrored um, headboard. I love this nice, nice, nice blue denim. Uh, next year, the closest thing in 2022 is going to be called Colfax. Uh, but this is the Largo interior, highly successful for us. Of course, we've got this really nice padded, soft ceiling, and you can hear the air conditioner working today. Uh, and it's covered by this beautiful ceiling decoration that covers all of the returns and all the vents. So very nice, very classy. Uh, this is a sleep number bed. Uh, this is a full king size bed, so RV King 72 by 80. So if you need to get sheets, uh, 70 by 80 RV Kings are widely available on Amazon. Uh, so great, um, great comfort here, and it's got two sides, so both people can be comfortable. And then I'd like to show you what we have below. Don't mind. So a ton of storage underneath. So this would be a great place to keep 
heavy down jackets, sleeping bags, pe uh, hiking shoes, pillows. I mean, anything you want. There's a ton of great storage underneath here. And this is very different. If you um, shop with us frequently, you know that we have both Numar and Renegade here. And under the Renegade bed, you'd find a 150 gallon water tank. Uh, the water tank is housed in one of the bays outside on the Numar. So all of that storage is available to you as a consumer underneath inside. So they both have pluses and minuses in terms of advantage. Uh, Renegade's thought process is it won't freeze. This does have the 110 volt uh, heat pads underneath. And with our star construction and our hydronic heating system, you don't have to worry about your water freezing. You do have to worry about having uh, your hydronic heat going though, so you have to be conscientious about that. Uh, so above here, you'll see we have our power system for our televisions. Now these are all 4K smart TVs. In the 2022 model, you will no longer have a standard Blu-ray Blu player, uh, but of course you can add that. Uh, this does have a satellite system. It's not the, the standard in motion fancy one. It's a R2220B motion satellite. And it's nice, it's, it's enough to get you through, uh, but not overkill. So for those of you that are more into camping, uh, when I special ordered this, it's for a client who didn't even put the TV on the outside. He's just, you know, two televisions is enough. So this one has two TVs in it. Again, really big, super deep storage here. And I love um, the high polished countertops in the, with the Largo interior. Just beautiful, really neutral, easy to decorate. And then in here above, everything is carpet lined. Lots of additional storage up here. And then right below that, you'll notice that we have our awnings out today. So that's our carefree awning package. There are three awnings, and as well as your emergency exit, which is nice. And then, you know, this is a really nice, um, nice little table to have on your dresser. And there are some outlets here. So if you wanted to charge a laptop or anything along those lines, it'd be pretty convenient to do so in your bedroom. Uh, we didn't show a picture of it, but I'll just tell you there are windows on either side of the bed. So you've got that great cross ventilation. And then you also have privacy. So I love these beautiful doors. And this is all maple. So I mean, these are nice, solid, hardwood doors. Uh, they're not laminate, they're beautiful. This is a Newport, uh, is the color that you're looking at here. And Jody, if you don't mind, let's go ahead and start here in the bathroom. You'll notice this little pivot door opens so that you can get into this restroom while you're in motion. So I'm gonna have Jody show you this shower really quick. So the nice thing about the showers is a 40 by 32 shower and it does have the teak bench. And then um, right on the right hand side, if Jody will pan to the right and go up the wall of the shower, you'll see something that talks about the Aquizer shower system. It's a tang tag right there, a little higher, right there. So what the Aquamizer system means is, um, so your aqua view is going to be a system where basically instead of running your water down the drain and filling up that 60 gallon uh, gray water tank, what you can do is turn that system on. It'll recycle the water until you're ready to use it. And then after you're ready to use it, it you can go ahead and turn your hot water on and you can keep your gray water tank kind of empty. Jody, I'm gonna hop in there and open some cabinets for you. So we also do have the fantastic fan with the rain sensor. We would have needed that last night. It would have just closed automatically. And then there's a lot of storage in here. Uh, plenty of medicine cabinet room. Again, carpet lined first class as you would expect from Numar. Uh, when you know the difference, this is really the product that you would seek out. Uh, it's so nice to have some competition for Renegade in the Super C segment. Uh, these are really two very phenomenal offerings and the Superstar kind of brings you into that class A uh, finish mixed with a Super C. So if you want something with a little more high-end panache, this is certainly a good coach for you. Lots of room here, as you can see, for towel storage, and then a really big drawer here in your uh, in your bathroom. So if you want to keep your you know toothpaste and all of that, you've got plenty of room. Porcelain toilet uh, with a Dometic touchless flush, and then a little more room underneath here as well. And this is where your toilet paper holder is. So I love the um, again high polish, you know, really nice countertops, the glass tile. Use your 110 outlets, so very easy to uh, get ready in the morning. And then this is a great feature. So to have a full length mirror, you know, available so you can make sure that you look good before you even get out of the bathroom and a robe hook. So I love, love, love that feature. Now, 
I'm going to go ahead and close this up. So this is the only bathroom in, uh, in this unit, but what's nice about it is it really gives you a ton of additional space. So um, I currently own a 36-foot Renegade, and I've decided I want to try out the Super C segment by Numar, so I'm going to trade that in, and I'm going to get a 40-foot Superstar. And I've been really kind of debating on whether or not I get that new bunk model that we have out for 2022 or a 4061. One of the reasons I really like the 4061 is look at all of this counter space. So by not having that extra half bathroom in this, in this unit, you have such a luxurious kitchen. And we do have the optional kitchen window here. Um, and then you'll notice that I have some cutting boards out, but I wanted to show you. So a lot of times we keep our cutting boards in place so that we have a little more cutting room. But even if you didn't have your cutting boards in place, you'd still have double the width, double the space that you normally have in an RV like this for your room. And of course we are operating on an all electric coach. It's an optional feature in 2021. It's going to be standard in 2022, but I love that you can take this true induction cooktop out. And one thing I like to mention to people who are shopping in this segment, a lot of people go, oh, I don't know if I want to use those, those pans. And I'll tell you, All Clad out of Indiana makes an amazing copper core pan. I can't recommend it highly enough. But what's interesting about it is the demo that I had when I recently decided to put the true induction in my new house was the gentleman who was showing it to me put a paper towel down on top of the cooktop. Then he put a pot of water and he put it over a very high intensity, very fancy uh, gas burner. And the pot of water on the cooktop not only boiled faster, it did so on top of the paper towel without catching on fire. So this is a huge safety feature. So with this all electric uh, coach, what you do get is not only an all electric cooktop, but you also get hydronic heat throughout the coach. So you have your two penguin heat pumps and air conditioners. Uh, you also have hydronic heat, which is running a coil through our Oasis system, our Chinook system uh, by Oasis. And it's running a coil of, of antifreeze underneath the coach and then there's air blowing over the top of it. So your heat pumps, as you can hear, are a little bit louder or your air conditioning fans. The heat pumps are nice and quiet. So that's one of the major advantages to having an all electric coach along with the safety and endless hot water. So I love those features. Uh, you'll also note that we have a beautiful, uh, very large microwave as well as convection oven. This will not only cook uh, you know, microwave burritos or vegetables, but it would also cook uh, any kind of cookies, anything uh, if you wanted to bake some biscuits, anything along those lines, you could do both here. Um, let me see if this is it is locked. So in this uh, in this RV, there is an optional uh, washer uh, dishwasher. This one has that optional dishwasher. And I wanted to show you what you lose. So first of all, here is your remote drawer, right? So this has got all of our remotes. It's got the remote for our awning, got the remote for our, our bed. Um, it's got the uh, water filter remover. It's got all of the Samsung remotes. It's also got a master remote that kind of can tie all of them together. Um, and then you've got your dishwasher here. But when you have this 4061, you don't lose that drawer space because it's duplicated. It's right here. So this is that extra space. So in this, I've put some dishes in here just to give you a little perspective. Um, these are just staged, but you know, some nice mixing bowls, a few spatulas, scissors, things you want to make sure you have when you come on your trip. And then some silverware, measuring cups, a little fire starter. Um, I don't know. So just there's a ton of room in the 4061. And oops, it's really, really nice uh, to have all that extra space. And then as you can see, I still have plenty of room for glassware. Coffee cups, owner's manuals, whatever it is that you may like. So uh, this is a really, really nicely equipped, very, very roomy floor plan. Um, so let me put these covers back on. And you will notice I put in some cutting boards here. So I tend to keep this one at home and bring one like this that kind of sits here. And that's so that if my phone's on here and it slides over, it doesn't go flying off the edge. So I don't actually bring both of this. I would, I would probably store this one at home and do something like this as far as a setup, of course, to each their own. Uh, but here underneath, again, more storage. And then right to the right of that, we're gonna have our little trash can. So plenty of room there. You could take a taller one, I think, if you wanted to, but whatever. 
Um, and then I love the scrubby holders and the sponge holders here. And that's gonna go directly into our next segment, which is the stainless, stool, stainless steel uh, dual undermount sink. Really deep, beautiful sink with a really stunning residential faucet head. Super high class with pour and spray both. So we love that. And last but not least, uh, we can kind of pan over and get this beautiful backsplash again, but I want to show you how big this pantry is. So again, this is one of the things I really struggled with, is this 4061 is such a luxurious floor plan that has so much offerings. And you'll notice that when I open these, I actually push them in to release them. So you just push in and they pull out. And these are all adjustable, but this is so much storage. And this is by Revishelf. I actually opted to have these installed in my new house as well after seeing how useful they are. I mean, no more reaching to the way back, you know. If you want to be organized with all of your canned goods and all of your flour, maybe you want to use them for other things like bug spray and things along those lines, you can do that very easily because there's really nothing that's out of reach. Very, very handy. So next to that, you've got, of course, our residential sized refrigerator. Uh, this Whirlpool does have an ice maker in it, plenty of storage underneath. It also has a water dispenser. And in the refrigerator, you also have a water filter. So this filtration system is going to be the second layer of filtration. This RV does come standard with a whole house water filter. And I love like the flexibility you have in here. Like you can kind of drop this down so you've got something for higher items. If you keep Prosecco with you and you're traveling like I do, great place for that. Lots of drawer storage. Um, and then you'll see down here on the right, one of the other optional features that we've taken uh, advantage of is your uh, central vac. So there's hoses outside that go into this compartment and then here you'll see it's lit. But with just a simple broom, you can keep the whole entire RV nice and clean very easily inside uh, with your central vac system. So that brings us to the reason I said you could keep bug spray in that pantry, but you might not need to. Look at all of the storage you get in the 4061. So this is incredible. For those of you that are constantly struggling with, where do I keep my blender? Where do I keep my coffee maker? Where do I keep all of my tall goods? Holy mackerel, look at all of this storage. This is really kind of unheard of uh, in this segment to have this much tall storage. Once again, all of it is, done, is adjustable. So, you know, kudos to Numar for really making great use of space. And then here's our central control system. So this is where all of the brains of the operation are. You've got your Oasis system. Again, that's gonna be your tankless hot water heater. Also your hydronic heating, your slide control. Here's your hydraulic leveling jack. Um, all of your power controls. Now this does not have um, solar, but we designed it, it's solar prepped. Uh, Numar offers for just over $5,000 a four panel, 400 watt system. We're going to go ahead and opt in for a three panel, uh, 525 watt system for only $3,800. Uh, and that's gonna be a huge savings. So um, there's your Magnum inverter. Here is your HVAC control. So this is running our air conditioning. And then here you'll see we also have our tank control. So we've got a nice digital display here as well. Uh, this is for your awning system. So we have the Nova awning today instead of the Gerard awning. I thought that would be really nice to show people because we all know what that dual awning looks like, but what does it look like when you have just the single awning that isn't all of that extra money? So we have that available for you to see today. That'll, we'll see that when we go outside. It's nice and calm. It's controlled here by your awning controls and then your battery disconnect. And again, we have a very simple wine guard system here. We've also opted not to include the uh, Wi-Fi. We're going to use a cradle point system that we install here at, at TransWest. Uh, the nice thing about our cradle point system is it can run off of both AT&T and Verizon because it's actually a SIM card that you provide that's attached to your own personal phone line. It's a big antenna on top of the RV. It gives you great capacity to be able to work while in motion. So if you're going cross country and you've got Zoom calls, maybe your wife's driving, you've got to jump on a quick work call, you can do that without having to stop, which we think is really, really invaluable. Um, now, part of this 4061 and the reason that this floor plan made it through, uh, the 4051 was a great bath and a half model last year, but what it was lacking was this slide. So we have been able to engineer this so that you have 
dual slides. So you have this major slide up here on the passenger side as well as, well as this full wall slide here down the driver's side. And what that does is it gives you this immense living space. So this is such an, a nice, nice living room. And you'll see that we have opted for the recliners here with the nightstand. And so uh, on the 4059, the new 2022, you could get the built-in theater seats, but these are actually swivel and they can move in and out. And then there's a nice table that you can uh, actually keep a bunch of periodicals in. You can put a lamp on it. It's got built-in cup holders right here as well. So this is a really, really nice way to have theater seating in here. Um, and of course we have our MCD shades. We've got day and night shades. Again, you can open the window. I've got that awning open right there. So great layout, tons of incredibly deep storage. So Jody, I'm just gonna open these for you so you, we can take a look. And you'll see how much room we really have in here. Tons and tons of really great storage above. So once again, this coach is just really not lacking in storage capacity at all. Very impressive amounts of storage. Again, everything is carpet lined. This is the cover for the front bunk area. So if you did have someone sleeping up here, you could do that, cover that. And then more storage over here. I love these little cabinets here. I don't know what, I mean, there's just so much. I can't even imagine what you would do with these deep, deep drawers. Really just spectacular. Um, so I love all of this. And then of course, again, 50 inches of spectacular. Um, again, 4K, high definition, uh, smart TV. You can use this to download Netflix if you want. You can do anything that you would like and have plenty of viewing capacity. I wanted to just show you, if I have this all the way unlocked. So I would just remove these cushions and then I would have that cushion that's in the closet at the back. This would turn into a full bed. And then you just slide it up and lock it into place. And then again, just because we haven't had enough yet. More storage. And of course, this, uh, this RV is uh, set up to seat five. So you can have two seat belts here and then two more here as well. So really, really nice. Very capable uh, superstar. I don't think I did this one, Jody. God, there's just so much of this stuff. I'm sorry I have to keep opening all of these, but if you end up buying a 4061, I hope that this video really helps you to be able to kind of game plan. Uh, when you come out here, we have a campground on site. Uh, over this last weekend, I delivered an RV to Vail, I delivered an RV to Ohio, and I delivered an RV to Pennsylvania. All of the campers were hanging out with each other in our on-ground campsite before they left the next morning. So. It was a great place to spend in Colorado and, and, uh, and or to spend Father's Day in Colorado. But how nice, we've got 50 amp. You come in here, pick up your RV, get your tutorial with Gary Movellan, have all your questions answered by one of our senior technicians, make sure everything's ship shape and ready to go, and then plug in and take it easy. Get moved in, camp overnight, stay for a day or two, and then take off so that you've got a really nice launch clean, knowing how to use everything on your RV, feeling very comfortable hitting the road. Um, so this is one of my favorite parts here. We talk about this a lot. I call this the black rainbow. Um, so one of the things that makes the Numar very unique in this segment is that we do not weld the front of the house to the back of the house. So this is a floating, uh, this, is a, this is a floating section right here where the house may wibble wobble this way and the front of the cab gets to also stay independent. So this gives you a much more comfortable uh, ride quality. It also prevents flex, giving you a more solid foundation, less cracking in your floors. Uh, of course, with Numar's standard star foundation, we don't really worry about that. We'll cover that a little bit more when we get outside. Uh, but this uh, floating, um, this floating section in the middle really changes the ride quality uh, of a Super C and no one else in this segment ha offers either the star foundation or this independent suspension that's separate from the back of the house. So really big feature here. Um, up here in the front, I know I keep saying it, but we have more cubbies. 
everywhere. And there he is. So up here on the left, you're going to see our friend Bruce Bordner. Bruce Bordner is our super sea specialist out at Newmar. Um, what's really nice about um, Trans West is that we have independent people that can help you here if you've got questions. But what's really amazing is that Newmar as a company has opted to put a specialist in charge of different brands so that if you need to email them and ask them questions, not only can you rely on your dealership, you can rely on me, but you can rely on the manufacturer because they really care that you're getting the kind of attention that you need. Again, more storage, just crazy amounts here. And something that really defines this product in the segment, let me go ahead and turn this on so we can do this. Here's our panoramic sunroof. Take a look at that. So this is UV treated, it's not gonna get hot, but man, are you gonna get an incredible view. And if you live here in Colorado like I do, just driving through the canyons, there's so many people rock climbing on a day-to-day -day basis, or there might be mountain goats. It's just a really beautiful part of the country. But this is designed to go all over the country. We have the universal toll module on here. A lot of people will say, well, what is that? It basically takes all of your toll charges and centralizes them so you don't miss one. Um, so this, this RV is really outfitted to get out into the wild blue yonder, really go see the amazing sights that the United States has to offer. Uh, your captain's chairs are air ride, they're heated, uh, there's lumbar adjustments, there's heated seats, nice place for cup holders, you've got your JBL sound system, so that's the true treat. Uh, you've got your air controls right here, so air conditioning, and then here you've got your power windows, heated mirrors, lock and unlock. Uh, the engine brake, of course, is really important to me. Um, this house boost, the house battery boost would just be if you needed a little boost to get your art restarted. Of course, you can operate your generator here. Uh, your camera control is right here. Uh, this RV does have the uh, 360 degree camera, which is really nice to have. Let's see if I can get that to pull up real quick. There we go. No. Oops. So, anyhow, I think that that's one of the nicer features that we have here with our camera control. And then this is going to be the last year that you'll see we do have the navigation system. Um, this is currently by Rand McAnally. They will not be our nav system next year. I love this nav system. It's so easy to use. You can set the, set the parameters of your RV so you know not to go over anything that's too heavy or under anything that's too short. And then of course we've got our Allison transmission, tried and true. Everyone knows she always works. And um, might as well just go ahead and start her up. So I love the sound of this engine. And of course, you've got that air brake, wiper controls. Um, everything that you need is right here at the touch of a button. And if anyone wants to know, um, this is running. It's not loud. I always get, oh my gosh, I heard that these are so loud. The front engine diesels have one thing that no one can stand a candle against. First of all, there's all the space between you and the person in front of you, which gives you a much better sense of uh, safety than maybe those bush fronts where that window is just right in front of you. Uh, but more importantly, your wheels are really easy to control. This is much more like a regular driving situation. So for those of you that are looking for an RV that's really easy to drive, that really kind of chairs up the freeway and eats it like it's just taking control in bad weather situations. I love the way these Super C's drive. So very, very comfortable. But what they offer more so than anything else, 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. You know, that is just absolutely amazing. So that 350 horsepower is great, but 1,150 foot-pounds of torque gives you 20,000 pounds of towing capacity. And man, she's just so capable. If you want to jump onto our Supreme Air to the DD13, you can have 30,000 pounds of towing capacity. I mean, that's just incredible. So I really encourage you, if you haven't driven both, come out and drive a Numar, come out and drive a Renegade, come out and drive a Class A. We are a phenomenal organization, really first class, lots of inventory, and really well-informed, well-versed sales associates that are always happy to help you answer questions. Um, the other thing that you get in a Super C that you can't be offered elsewhere is the ability to get out of the door right here. So like if I wanted to quit this video and just jump out, 
I could just be like, peace out, see you later, and go running down the street. You couldn't do that in a Class A. So the ability to get out when you stop late at night and you want to fill your tanks, jump out, let everybody else stay asleep in the back. You don't have to worry about anything. It's really, really very handy to have the capacity to do that. Now I am going to turn this off right now so that we can get our slides pulled in. Uh, so Jody, if you don't mind, I'm going to jump around back and I'll meet you outside. I'm really excited to kind of show you guys through the undercarriage of this RV today. Uh, one of the other benefits that you're going to have in the new MAR is going to be an amazing amount of uh, under storage, basement storage. So uh, Jody, if you want to head outside, I'm going to go, oh, you know what? Don't go yet because you know what? We want to show everybody what this bad boy looks like when the slides are pulled in. I know you're sitting there looking at me and nodding your head going, yes, Katie, you almost forgot that. <sighs> I try really hard, you guys. These are live videos, um, and there's a lot of running around, getting, you know, we've got a 50 amp, 50-foot uh, power cord we've got to get plugged in. We've got to get all of our little decorations staged. And then I have to remember all this stuff. Uh, so <laughs> I try really hard to catch it all. Sometimes I get a few... Uh, few critiques online but you know I really appreciate you tuning in and I'd, I really value the feedback I try to you know I know somebody asked me where they would plug in their blender I know somebody asked me where they would you know what what the ceilings were made out of I've had so many different questions and I try to remember to address them in every video because even though I have like well over 50 videos that I've made that are live and available at trans west truck trailer RV on YouTube um, that doesn't mean that you've watched all of them. So I try to remember to talk about everything that you might need to know during my videos. Uh-oh. Jody? Power source in. I think my key is still in the ignition up there in the front. Let me just see if I can figure out why I'm not getting any movement. Okay, let's try that again. There we go, okay. Here she goes. Uh-oh, no, she just wants to stop right there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave that slide and not for right now. There's no point in focusing on that. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. So come on down, and before we do, uh, one of our favorite features to make sure we make mention of is the slept cover. So that's just really nice. You don't have to worry about losing your pooch down the stairs. And then on the note of that margarita plug-in, Jody, right behind you, right above the sink, if you don't mind, do you see it? There she is, 110 outlet right there on top. Somebody said, where are the plugs in that kitchen? There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and go outside. Now, first and foremost, I already mentioned this, but this is the standard awning. So you have optional awnings on these RVs and they're thousands of dollars. So if you wanted to know what it looked like if you didn't spend thousands of dollars, you still have all of your LED lighting. You still have a really, really large awning. Um, it's just short by about four feet, but tons of patio coverage. And again, this is a standard awning that's included at no additional charge on the Superstar. Um, now we're talking today about some of the benefits and attributes of having a front engine Freightliner chassis um, semi truck. So this is going to be the 8.9 liter Cummins ISL. This is a beautiful execution of power. I love to show people the ease of access. This is definitely one of the reasons you might consider buying a Super C. Uh, not only do you get that increased torque lower cost and better um, better uh, towing capacity, you also get this beautiful marriage of Freightliner to Cummins. So this again is a 350 horsepower, 1,100 foot-pounds of torque underneath this hood. Very easy to access. There's Freightliner dealerships all over the country. Of course, you've got these 22 and a half inch uh, Michelins. So really, really big tires. As you can see, this is very easy to open and close. It's not hard to access at all. You've got, again, your beautiful uh, HID uh, LED light system here. So you're going to have high definition LED lights. Very good for being able to see going down the road. 
Uh, and then your side marker. Freightliner is very invested in making things easy to access. So one of the important features to note about this is when you want to get in, you have different points to hold on to the whole way through. So you're never going to find yourself in a position where it's hard to get in and out of your RV. One of the things that Freightliner really focuses on when they put together um, their chassis is making sure that these are really easy, safe units to get in and out because we're not just servicing people who are out there RVing. These are used on a day-to-day -day basis for people who work out of them that put hundreds of thousands of miles on them in a year. Um, so really important to have good, safe, easy access points. Uh, this is a dual fill. So this is their filling side. You've got 100 gallons of fuel. Uh, you've got 150 gallons of fresh water. You've got 60 gallons of gray water and you have 40 gallons of black water. Uh, this is your side camera, so when you're turning uh, or changing lanes, you can see down the right-hand side of you. And as you can see, one of the major benefits of uh, getting into a Superstar is all of this extra cabin or out storage space. Uh, so this air hose is going to attach in the front on the opposite side. You could use this. Uh, my friend Mark does an amazing job. He did a Supreme Air last week. Uh, just walking through this. I actually watch his videos so I can learn things, so I can make sure I cover them too. He mentioned, you know, let the air out of your tire so you've got a little better traction. Of course, having a Super C, that's one of the things that you get as an advantage. You get uh, better access to, good, to further places off-road. It's got a little bit better ground clearance. But if you want more traction, you can let the air out of your tires, and you can use this air hose to air back up when you're ready to get on the road. You don't have to go to the gas station. Again, major, major storage capacity here. And this is a pretty standard height, um, and it's pretty exciting, but it actually gets even better. So I'll show you, I'm just saying, I've got my measuring tape. So these are just over two feet. So about 26 inches tall is what you see here. Um, and in terms of depth, we're looking at about 27 inches deep if you go to the rubber lip. Um, so pretty nice here, but I think what gets really exciting is when you get here, now first of all, oh, I don't know if I got that step turned off, I'm going to take my clipboard up just in case I don't. Yeah, so you've got this articulating step, um, so this is a really nice feature uh, that is very unique to the segment. Look at how low to the ground this gets. So I mean, you're right off the ground, and when I say right off the ground, we're talking six inches. I mean, that's really crazy. So if you've got a bad hip or bad knees and you wanna get into an RV that's easy to get in and out of, both in the front as in the mid entrance, you've got that here. Uh, there's a sensor here and there's a sensor underneath. So if this was to hit a curb, it would stop. And as you can see, it could stop at any point and you'd still have access to those steps. They just wouldn't be quite as wide. Um, but this is where it gets really exciting. Take a look at this. So we use a STAR foundation at Newmar, which stands for strong, true, and robust. But this is giving me, I've got almost 36 inches in height on this, uh, on this basement. That's just incredible. So, you know, this is one of the main reasons you might consider a superstar. Uh, 28 inches wide, 28 and a half, really. Again, this is the 4061. Uh, this is the only model that will carry over from 21 into 22. It does have the touch pad with the doorbell here. And this is lidded, so it's very nice. You can kind of see where your door is from outside. But as I mentioned earlier, this is where your fresh water tank is. So instead of being under the bed, you've got a big fresh water tank right here. Your drain's right here. And this is where you could have that television if you wanted to have that outdoor television. And we could still install that for you. So if you order one without and you find you're missing it, we can do it, but right now it's a great place to hang tools. And if you hang your tools here, then you can use the back garage for your bar area. You hear that, Mark Love? Top shelf in the back, buddy. All right, so in here we have a set of our vacuum cleaner hoses. We also have our two inch adjuster. So this comes as a standard three inch. Uh, you also get a ball, two and five sixteenths and two inch uh, ball as well. Um, I really thought it was interesting to mention that back here you have access to turn to unplug your slides. So you've got slide control back here. Uh, if you, so if you unplug those, you can actually use them to reset. 
And then here is your um, central vac outside. So this central vac is where you could put your hoses in and you could use that to clean out your slides. You could use that to clean off a paddleboard before you wanted to store it. Uh, but you'll see right here, this is part of that star foundation. So Mark had mentioned in his video last week, and I'd like to reiterate. So the way that this is welded, it's designed so that it actually takes the exterior weight of these heavy slides and takes it and pushes it down towards the middle. And they use this star, star foundation. And so instead of sitting on this uh, rail here and having your foundation directly on top of this rail, you actually have some space. So not only do we have a really unique attribute in that we have pass-through storage available in a Super C, which is almost unheard of, um, also the floor is constructed, it's three inches thick, uh, the tiles assembled, everything's assembled first. They assemble this entire foundation and then with the fully assembled floor, they bring it over and drop it and set it down on top of the foundation of the RV, giving you time to have all of your tiles set and seal, giving you a really good chance that you're not going to have cracking and breaking and giving you better insulation, uh, less squeaks and rattles down the road. So really just an improved drive characteristic overall. Um, I thought that was just great information. I think it's really important. Here's some extra tile, of course. On the Super C model, you will have beautiful tile, as you saw inside. There's just a few extra pieces in case you need them. And then right here is this release for what some people would say is good for a bar and what some people would say is good for a garage. Now, I do agree, you could put charcoal in here, but you could also have a really pretty rad top shelf array. Um, holy mackerel. Now, when you do clean up, great place to keep fishing poles, for instance, if you want to be able to have this long storage. Maybe your broom for inside. I always struggle with where to keep my broom. I'll definitely be making use of this compartment in, in that respect. Uh, but just a great place to keep bug spray, extra oil, Patron, whatever you like. Uh, and then look at the back of this bad boy, man. I really love this. So this superstar is so impressive. Uh, this is the Blanco exterior. Uh, yes, I did order Blanco exterior as well. I love this mirrored back. I love these really strong, uh, very pronounced LED light, uh, uh, brake lights. And then again, 20,000 pound towing capacity. You got everything you need for your uh, trailer as well as for your cameras. They're already pre-wired back here. So super, super advantageous. If you are looking to get out on the road and you want to tow some stuff, really nicely uh, already set up for you. Um, and then look at this storage. So have you ever wondered where you're going to put your golf clubs? How many sets of golf clubs do you want? Because, I mean, you could literally, like, take your entire, like, like your whole family golfing. There's so much room for stuff in here. It's just incredible. Again, this is one of the benefits that you're going to have with the Star Foundation, with the Superstar in the Super C segment. Um, just not only is it, is it attractive and, like, really kind of, you know, badass looking, it, it's also highly functional. So we love that. Uh, here's your whole house water filter. Oh, so... This does not have a SantaCon system. If you watched Mark's video, it had the SantaCon system. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a Slunky so you've got something for, for your, um, your, your Blackwater um, gravity hose. Yeah, and the Blackwater gravity hose can go in here, but you want to have a Slunky so you can kind of control it. The SantaCon system does make it so that you don't have to worry about whether or not you're uphill. With this, you'll need something to make sure that you're flowing out, but you can store it in here, which is nice. And uh, sorry I get lost when I talk about this Blackwater area because I don't do this part. This is I leave to my boyfriend. Um, but I know he thinks it's really awesome. As you can see, you've got hot and cold water outside with a shower, whole house water filter. Uh, there's your fresh water fill, black water rinse. Everything is super, super easy. You can see it's digitally lit. Um, yeah, this is not my specialty, but I know that there's some cool features like the little drain here so you can clean it out and you can plug it and I know that it's really nice that the hose loads underneath here instead of loading in the bay I know that this is a power hose reel I know that I'll probably never use it myself sorry <laughs> uh, this is gonna be your hydraulic fluid this is gonna be used for all sorts of stuff that's your that's your motor down there. And then there's your eight house batteries right here. AGM, uh, they are on a slide tray, easy access if you want to replace them yourself. They last for a long time. 
Newmar has not uh, bitten off the bullet and tried to get into the um, lithium ion battery section yet. We have lithium ion batteries available in a King Air. So if you'd like to buy a King Air, I have a used King Air. It's a 2021 here in inventory. Come out and see it. Uh, it's got a dual lithium battery ion bank or dual bank lithium ion battery. Um, but it says that's the only one that we have that's doing lithium currently. Um, I think it's just a little premature for us. And I think we'll see that technology down the road. But honestly, with AGMs, solar on top, you want to go boondocking, this is your RV all day long. You can run that refrigerator, all your 110 outlets off of your solar all day long, even if it's overcast like it is today, plenty of juice, and then plenty of storage overnight. And of course, they start charging before you even get out of bed the next day, as soon as the sun comes up. Uh, so this is that Oasis system. Uh, one of the things that you'll note about the Oasis system is there's an Aqua Hot and a, an Oasis. They're both good systems. This one's quiet. Um, it's big. It's very capable. Uh, either is great. You know, sometimes people like a motor cabin. Come get a Renegade. If you want a more of a motor home and a Class A feel, come look at a Superstar. Um, 8,000 kilowatts. Or I'm sorry, 8,000 watts. 8 kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator running off of 100 gallons of fuel. Uh, so you've got a 100 gallon diesel tank. This has got plenty of juice for you no matter where you're at. And then of course we've got our inverter here and then our power, our power cord reel is a 50 amp cord and it's 50 feet long. 50 feet long over 36 feet long is really, really a difference maker. So it's one of the, th one of the features I really like about the Superstar. I'm excited to see that. Um, but having it power is just so nice because you just push this little button to reel it in and it takes up a lot less space, so a lot more compact. Uh, in here you'll find your def tank as well as your diesel tank, so you've got dual fill on this model. And then you've got things like, again, really easy entry for the driver. And then underneath here, you can see your house on off so you've got or your chassis on off switch so that's very nice really easy to access you turn off the house and the control panel inside you turn this off on the outside close it up store it if you've got that solar on top it'll actually keep your batteries charged keep them to last a little bit longer uh, these convex chrome uh, covered mirrors are standard they are heated they're pretty spectacular again this is the blanco exterior uh, we do have a lot of new colors available for 2022. This is the last 2021 you'll see come in new. Um, but the 2022 does offer the Blanco as well. And uh, it's really just an amazing powerhouse. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the 4061. Like I said, I, I wanted to do this because there aren't any out there. I, I couldn't find any reviews. I think it's really important to, to be able to see how magnificent this, this Road Warrior is. Um, I'm going to grab my clipboard. But thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, I'll just tell you, my name is Katie O'Neill. My number is 303-562-8659. You are shopping here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. We have hundreds of videos available on YouTube. Find our station, learn a lot about our product, and come in and visit us. Thanks so much for camping. See you soon.